Hello, everyone. Welcome to Verbling. I am Teacher Oakley again. Still, I should say, would be more correct. Uh, and uh, in this class, we are going to play a very simple game, a very common English word game called Anagrams. Uh, Pavel, do you have any idea what anagrams are? Hi, Pavel. Pavel. Hi. I, uh, I read the file uh, about anagram. Okay. Uh, some minutes ago. <laughs> and uh, uh, maybe I, I understand, understood uh, this game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Basically, simply we're talking about uh, um, rearranging jumbled, okay, uh, or rearranged jumbled letters to spell different words. All right. And, uh, okay, if you read the document, the idea is, okay, if I say act, A-C-T, and I'll write it in the verbling chat so you can see the letters, then, uh, Pavel, your turn, you might say cat, all right, rearranging the letters, C-A-T. Then Pavel might give Heidi, hi, Heidi. Hello. Hello again. Might give Heidi another three-letter word, such as? Pavel. Make story. Like what? Making story. Sorry? No. no. Uh, yeah. I often participate in that kind of class. A teacher uh, gave us three words. So we need to use three words to make story. Oh, no. Okay. Different no. idea. Let me, let me explain. <laughs> this is uh, simply spelling, and uh, it would help to have some vocabulary. So anagrams is when we take one word and we and we try, there's a, a number of forms of the game. Uh, one form is to take a long word and see how many words you can create using the letters in that word. Uh, another form, which we're, I've never done this before, uh, just a kind of a practice, you guys That's are my, my guinea pigs. Jumble, yeah, oh, jumble. Okay. I got you. Yes, right, these are, the, these are called anagrams, exactly. Um, and, and in the form we're trying today, I'll say one three-letter word, then Pavel will rearrange the letters to form a different three-letter word. He will then say another new three-letter word to you. You see if you can come up with an anagram for that word, and then you give a three-letter word to me, and let's see if I can get it. And we keep going around, but the next round we go four letters and then around in five letters, and let's see how far we can get before we want to shoot ourselves. <laughs> okay. We were challenging ourselves, kind of. Okay. Uh, welcome to the class, Eduardo. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Uh, Eduardo, where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Mexico. Okay, excellent. Welcome to the class. Uh, Thank you. Did you hear my explanation of what we're doing today? We're playing a little anagrams game. Uh, I didn't hear it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One more time. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to start with three-letter words, then four, then five, but basically take a very simple three-letter word. For example... If I say act, A-C-T, then the next person after me should rearrange the letters to form another word. Eduardo, what's another word that you can make with these letters? Okay. D can you think of a word that you can make with these letters? Actually, not. <laughs> well, for example, cat. Just rearrange the letters is the idea uh, okay, okay, okay. okay and then if you think of cat then you think of another word a different word three letters and 
you pass it on to the next person and see if they can come up with a new word. Okay? Okay. 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 All right, that's the idea. Pavo, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Sure you uh, are. For <laughs> instance, tail. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, let me think. All right. Uh, okay, here is your word. Um, ta -dum -dum -dum. Here's your three-letter word. Oh, you, oh, you're giving a word. Okay, but wait. We should start with three-letter words and then get to four. Ah, okay. Three-letter. Gum. Okay, very good. Excellent. Heidi, to you, your word is gum. Uh, no, okay, that can be your new word, but y now, Heidi, can you rearrange the letters of gum to form a new word? Yes, okay. You can <laughs> you can speak if you want. Okay, mug. That's correct. All right. Uh hmm. Heidi's word to you, Eduardo, is pad. Hmm. Pad? Yeah. Uh, can you think of a word that, to rearrange the letters? Hmm. No. <laughs> um, actually, no. What's that? I can hear you very well. Yes, I can barely hear you as well, as a matter of fact. Okay. If, um, okay. Can you hear me now? It's really low uh, volume. Okay. Uh, any, any. All right. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna go. All right. Let me welcome a couple others to the class. Maybe, hopefully, uh, he'll come back. Uh, welcome to the class, Oksana. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hi. Uh, and Emmanuel. Hello, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, are you there? Hmm. Uh, okay. Emmanuel, if you can uh, unmute your microphone so you can speak, so I know that you can talk, that would be great. Or maybe you're having other problems with your microphone. I don't know. Okay. Oksana. I'll send it over to you. We're starting with three letter words. We're rearranging the letters like act can if I change the letters they can become cat. And Pavel said gum and Heidi said mug. Just rearranging the letters. So to uh, it's these are called anagrams. Heidi gave the word pad. Is there a word that you can form? Pot? Yes, can you rearrange the letters to form a new word? Oh, yeah, it's a difficult, so I will change it. It is a difficult one, but there is a word. It is difficult, but it's not, actually. It, it is, but it isn't. It's not. This, this is easy. Hmm? It? Yes. Okay. T. T. Okay. Great. Or eight. Uh, okay. Hello. Hello, Emmanuel. Yeah, sorry. I I was having difficulty with my connection. I don't know what happened. Okay. Uh, it's okay. We're playing an anagrams na game now. Oksana, I want you to give Emmanuel a three-letter word and see if he can rearrange the letters to form a different word. All right, so Oksana, think of a three-letter word that can be changed. It has to be able to be a different word. No, I, I cannot think it's very quickly. 
<laughs> because I don't have enough to words. Okay, I, I'm think maybe I'm next. Maybe somebody, somebody. Oh, you uh, already uh, said a T. So. Yeah, you yeah, already I, guessed. I so it's your turn. Like T. Okay. T. Can you think of something? Mm, no, no. Time's no. running out. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm next. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Your turn to give a word. No, no. I, I say maybe somebody Whoop. to give okay. a word. I'm next. You're out for this round. Okay. So I'm out. Okay. That's okay. Um, you're out. Emmanuel. And by the way, right. I actually want to talk about pad because it was very interesting. There is a, even I didn't know this word. We will discover new words together. I learned a new word. Dap is actually a word. Did you know that, Heidi? Dap? Yeah. Some chemical. No. It's actually urban slang in English, but it is I, it is a word. It's when people. I don't know. They do. They bump fists uh, uh, and they do different. Kinds of handshakes, bump chests. They dab. All right. <laughs> yes, it's it's actually kind of a slang word. It's I didn't know it's that. Like, it's like D A P. Uh, D A P. Yes, that's right. Right. It's, it's not I, like a jump or something like that. Uh, a jump. Ah. Yeah. Oh, you're thinking of gap. <laughs> A, a space yeah. between two things, you mean? Yeah. No. Space. No, that's not no, what you're thinking. I mean, the the AP is not is not like a jump as well. I, I think. Well, what I saw, what I I investigated, what I saw was that it, possibly, maybe, but what I the only thing I could see was a series of hand slaps and clasps and. All that kind of thing. All right. Uh, not that I know. It's a form of greeting with all the physical slapping and all that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so that means, okay, we have to go back to Emmanuel. So I'll give Emmanuel a different word. Uh, okay, Emmanuel. Here's an easy one. Dog. All right. Um, okay. I I have to say God. Yes, perfect, excellent. Uh, all right, fine. We've made it. No, we haven't made it. Uh, you have to give a three-letter word to Paul. And see all right. if you can get it. And it has just to have three, just three letters. Just three letters, right? And then we will have made it one round. Then we're going to go to four letters. And then we go all the way around, and we go to five letters. If we can make it, we'll, we'll see how far right. we can make it. All right, my word is rat. Okay. Pablo, your word is rat. Uh, yeah. Rat. Tar. 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 Okay, that's very good. Okay, excellent. You got it. All right, Pavel, now four-letter words, and I know you have one because you already did one. Oh, uh, we're going to go four letters. Oh. Oh. Owl. Uh, Owl. Four letters. We made it around. We'll save Owl for next turn. Three, letter. Three letters. Four oh. letters now. I know, but we're going to ah, go four. four because we just made it around three. the class with three. From. Oh. From. Ooh, Heidi, can you from? <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah, okay. I got it. Heidi, can you think of an anagram for from? Form. Excellent. All right. Your turn to give a four-letter word to Emmanuel. Sorry, is it my turn? Uh, you got the word neck. All right, neck. Neck. Mm. Ne 
back. Um, let me see. Um, oh, oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, oh boy, that's <laughs> yeah. Neck. Oh, <laughs> that's a hard one. Uh, I don't know if it's possible. I don't think so. It's neck. No. You want to call now? Here's part of the game. If Heidi gives you a word that you think does not have an anagram, you can I challenge, think... and then Heidi has to give an anagram. In which case, yeah. you're eliminated, but Heidi continues. So if you want to challenge, you can challenge. Yeah, I, I think so because I don't, find, okay. I don't find any, I mean, any possibility. Okay, uh, Heidi, do you have an anagram for neck? No, using the same letters N E C K. That's changing the word using the same letters. Heidi, do you have anything for neck? No? Heidi, are you there? Okay. Uh, something wrong with your microphone? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm thinking. But I'm... Oh, you're thinking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, personally, I cannot think of an anagram for neck. Yeah, it's kind of difficult. <laughs> uh, I don't think it exists. <laughs> so that means Heidi would be out. So now, uh, Emmanuel, you won that round. You give a four-letter word to Ken. Right. Roxanne has already been eliminated. So Ken, uh, we're play playing anagrams. So Emmanuel's going to give you a word. Four letters. See if you can rearrange the letters, scrambled letters, mm -hmm. to form a different English word. Emmanuel, okay. what's your word? Right. Um, my word is peace. Peace. Can you spell it? Oh, okay. It's. Can you? Uh, I don't. Every time I try to go to the um, Google Hangouts chat. Emmanuel, and then try to go back to Verbling chat, which is what we're all using. Uh, I can no longer use chat in the last day or so. Okay. So can mm -hmm. can you spell it? Speaking? Yeah. Yeah, mm. it's P E A S. P E A S. Ah, oh, okay. Wait a second. First of all, Emmanuel, pronunciation Z sound. P's. Peas, all right. Peas, like zoo, zebra. All right, Zanzibar. peas. Peas, okay. Peas. Oh. Hmm, good one. Ken, Hi. peas. Yes. Peas. <laughs> ah, okay. All right, what's an acronym? Uh, no, not an acronym, sorry. Uh, Anagram. Peas. How could you rearrange the letter? Letters. Peas. What's mean peas? Peas are those little green vegetables. All right. They come in a pod if you actually grow them. They're, they come in a pod. Uh, they all little green, round things. Okay. You know what I mean? Apes. Very good. Excellent. Uh, excellent, Ken. All right. Also, um, Another one may be apps, and apps is an architectural, uh, mm -hmm. like over a door, when there uh, is like a triangle or a arch over a door, it's called an apps. But apes, perfect, okay, Ken, mm -hmm. now you give a four-letter word to Pavel. Pavel, hmm. Uh, five for a letter in the word? Oh wait! You have to get a get a word from Ken. Ken has to give you a four-letter word first. Okay. Uh, lock. 
locked. Now you have to you have to be sure that in fact there is an anagram. Uh, yeah, an anagram for the word. Because if there's not, Pavel can challenge you. And if you can't think of one another jumbled word, then then you're out for the round. Oh, All right. I, I need to <laughs> think think uh, one for for lock beforehand. Oh yeah. Mm, oh really? Oh yeah. <laughs> because he can challenge you. Because if there oh, is really? if there is none possible, mm. and <laughs> then then oh. there is none. So uh, you didn't understand that rule. I'll let you try again. Okay. That's a hard one. Mm. Let, let, let me think. And <laughs> other people. <laughs> Why other people are doing? I I'm thinking of this. Ah oh oh. So you are you're gonna pass? Because if you pass, you're out for the round. Okay, this is a good practice round anyway, mm -hmm. just to get the idea, because I don't think everyone really understood the rules. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you, you have to be thinking of these things ahead of time. Uh, actually, just for fun, because Pavel and Emmanuel are the only ones left, really. Pavel, can you think of any for five letters? Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't imagine uh, something with uh, five letter. Uh, <laughs> I try, but I cannot. Okay. Uh, okay, Emmanuel, you, you can be the winner. Can you think of uh, an acronym with? Uh, I'm sorry, I keep saying acronym. Sorry about that. An anagram that has a for a, a five letter word. Can you think of one? And you will be the winner of the first round. All right, <laughs> all right. I, I have to to give to one to. I mean, I, I have to give a word for for whom? Uh, a five-letter word that ha and then, but you obviously have to know. All right, anagram. and you were the winner. Uh, all right, let me see. Uh, um. Oh boy, uh, let me see. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Pavel. <laughs> Obviously. Pavel just had no, an idea. No. Uh, I think uh, uh, we need uh, uh, words with uh, E H uh, letters. Uh, yeah, yeah. Strategy. <laughs> <laughs> possibly yes that's a good strategy also plurals think of plurals. All right. yes with s's because s's are very common the strategy here for this game by the way is to use letters that are extremely common you don't want to be using words with z and x w because many there's not any words you know if i say fox really that's ridiculous f is rare uh, o is the most rare uh, vowel. X. There are no words that start with X, so how can you possibly rearrange it? So exactly, Pavel, you have the idea. You want to pick words with letters that are very common, or letter combinations like TH or ES, you know, with plurals, or ED, because we have prefixes D something or verb endings ED. Okay. Yes, you're on the right track. Let's try this again. One, a more, a time. Uh, okay. Anas uh, sorry, not Anastasia. Oksana. Yeah? Okay, we're going to start all over again. Hopefully by now you've thought of a three-letter word. Three again? Back to three, yes. Everybody's in again. We're all new game. I prepare right. five letters. <laughs> okay, well, save it. That could be a winner later. If you get that far yes, yes, in the game, that may win you the game. So save it. Don't use it. Back, back to three. Oh, okay. Mm. War. War. Excellent. Very good. All right. Um, I'm going to go backwards this time. Uh, Emmanuel, war to you. 
Very good. War. All right. All right. All right. Um, war. Three letters. We're back to three letters. That's right. Right. War is W A R R. Sorry. It is. Yes. I keep forgetting you. D right. W A R. I'm sorry. You don't have. If you, by the way, Emmanuel, if you click on the the blue background gold V, you might be able to pick up um, the Verbling chat box, which is where we're oh, writing right. all our words, so you could see that. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me you try that. See it. The Sometimes. blue one bottom? Yeah, on the left... Blue one, it's blue background with a gold V for verbling. All right. If you scroll, it even says verbling. Well, I just touch it, but I, I don't nothing. see anything. Not Yeah, I don't see nothing. Okay. I don't know why. So, okay. Probably it's my connection. But, yeah. Okay. So, okay. The, my word. W A R. My word, yeah. W A R. All right. So, my word is raw. Raw. Very good. Excellent. And what does raw mean? In it's something that is no. I mean, still, for example, um, in a meat, it's not cooked. It's raw. Right. So uh, yeah. uncooked. That's it. Very good. Uncooked. Yeah. Okay. Not that you have to know the definition, but it's okay. <laughs> Just for <whatever laughs> information. Uh, all right, Emmanuel. Uh, your turn. Three-letter word for Heidi. All right. Um. Uh, let me see. Um. Um. Probably. Uh, God. What? Again? Oh. God. <laughs> How do you spell God. it? Yeah. J O D. What? One more time. I mean, G O D. G O D. Okay. Uh, okay. Heidi. Dog. <laughs> Dog. Of course. All right. We already did that one, but in reverse. All right, Heidi. One for Pavel. Uh huh. Uh. Wait. Oh. Pin. Oh. Okay. Wait, Pavel. Your word is pin. P I N. Pin. Uh. You've got to get your answer first. Pin? Pin. Uh, I don't... Uh, I don't imagine... Uh, you can do it. Easy, easy. Come on. Me? I I don't know this word. But just say no it. Problem. <laughs> but ah, nip. Nip. Yes. Okay, nip. very good. If a dog bites you, a very small bite, he nips your arm. Not he doesn't take your arm off, but a small bite is a nip. Okay. Uh, a small piece. Um. Okay, is it's a verb to nip. The dog nipped my leg like that. Okay, and so Pavel, your word it, for Ken is owl. Very good. Owl, owl. All right, Ken, your word is owl. Owl, uh, owl. Who? Owl. Who? Uh, 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 yeah. And this hello. Hello, very good. Okay. Uh almost through the first round. Ken, three letter word for Oxana. Okay, uh, uh this one. Act. Act. Okay, very good. Chuck. <laughs> Cat. Very good. You got it. Okay. Oxana. You're up. Four. A four letter word. Okay. Last. Last. Excellent. Good one. Uh, Emmanuel, that's for you. Last. 
All right. Um, okay. Salt. Salt. Excellent. You are correct. Very good. Uh, now we're cooking. All right. Here we go. All right. Emmanuel. Four-letter word for Heidi. Yeah. Loop. Spell it. <laughs> Sorry. L O O P. Loop. Loop. Ooh, loop. Pool. Heidi got it instantly. Okay, now we're moving. Mm. Heidi, four letter word for Pavel. Uh, Team. There you go, Pavel. Your meat. word is meat. Excellent. All right, we're cooking now. Cooking with gas now. All right. <laughs> Pavel, four letter word for Ken. Fire. 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 Ooh, good one. Ken, your word is fire. Mm -hmm. Tough one. Okay. This one. Sorry. Uh, oh, no, no. Uh, that's five uh, letters. L, L. Uh, yeah. uh, five. 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 Uh, uh, fire, maybe. Uh, fire. Oh. Uh. Fire was the original. Fire. Yeah. Uh, oh my goodness! Ken's panicking. <laughs> oh. Uh, this one. Uh, right, right, right. This one. Is this, is this a word? It oh. is. Okay. <laughs> yes, it is. Rife. It is, uh, in fact, an adjective. Um, or sometimes an adverb. It's an adjective that means a common occurrence or widespread. Um, okay. Uh, okay, uh, let's see, something like uh, drug use is rife in uh, American society, okay, mm -hmm. it's widespread, it's common occurrence, um, okay, and sometimes we can use it as an adverb, like something ran rife, it, uh, we're using it as an adverb to modify ran, it became widespread. Ran rife is a common something. Ran rife is a common uh, co-location. Mm. Something runs rife. It's widespread. Panic. Ran rife. Ooh, there's a very common co-location. Mm. When the tsunami hit, panic ran rife in the streets. Mm. Yes, it is a word. Okay, mm. good. We're starting to learn a little vocabulary as well. All right, Ken, you have to give a four-letter word mm -hmm. to Roxanne. Okay. So, oh, sorry, mistyped. Soul. Soul. Okay. Yummy fish. <laughs> this is fish? Yes, soul. It's a white fish, very tender... Uh, delicate, delicious <laughs> fish. Ken, do you ever eat sole? Probably oh. no. What, what is it? Maybe we have a different name for this. Okay. Hmm. This is not soul I, I like your soul, your spirit soul. Yeah. This soul is an actual fish. Mm -hmm. so. Maybe loose? It's delicious. It's really good. Uh, lose, maybe lose, yes, not yes. even maybe, yes, definitely lose. Very good, excellent. All right, see, Oxen, I told you, you can use that word later, five-letter word. <laughs> I prepare, <laughs> I prepare before this word. Sport. Yeah, well, now you can use it. What is it? Sport. 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 Excellent, very good. Okay, that's to you, Emmanuel. You've got sport. sport. Ooh, good one. All right. 
Nice. Um, ports. Ports. Oh, he got it too easily. Yes. <laughs> Port. Okay. Yes, that's right. Ports, where you put a ship. All right, Emmanuel, your turn. Five letter word. All right. <laughs> All right is uh, six letters. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Ah. I think goose. Goose. Yeah. Uh, okay. Goose. Like uh, 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 goose. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, Heidi, that's for you. Goose. 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 Funny word, goose. Well, Heidi's thinking, Emmanuel, okay, obviously you know goose the noun. It's a bird which people eat and sometimes grow domestically, and it honk, honk, honk. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, but do you know the verb goose, Emmanuel? No, I don't know the verb. Ah, I bet no one here in the class does. Yeah. Can does anyone that? know the verb to goose? Mm -hmm. goose? No, no one does. Of course you don't, because no one would teach this to you except me. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Okay, when you, uh... When you sneak up behind someone, you sneak up behind them, and you you uh, you grab their rear end, their buttocks, their bum, and you pinch it really, really hard. You goose them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. You goose somebody. You sneak up, and you go, woo! Sometimes you go, woo, when you do it, and they go, woo! All right. <laughs> No, I can't. You can't. Uh, would you like to challenge Emmanuel? Why not? You have nothing to lose. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> right? Heidi, are you going to challenge Emmanuel? Just do it. Yes? No, I don't have anybody. You give up. Okay, <laughs> instead of challenging him? Because I don't think Emmanuel has another word either. Okay. Yeah, that's Here's right. The thing. If you can't think of a word, you should challenge because you have nothing to lose. That means you're out anyway. So you might as well challenge. Right. Right, uh, Emmanuel, you got nothing. Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right. Well, see, Heidi, just challenge. Okay. Heidi's out for this round. Uh, Emmanuel got away with one. This is a trick. Okay. You know, if you want to give a word that has no anagram, you can, but it's risky. Emmanuel, you ha you have no anagram for that, do you? Yeah, no. No. Okay, so I... Sorry, Heidi, I guess you're out. Uh, Pavel, I'll have to give you a new five-letter word. Here it is. Fire Sailor. Pavel, sales. Sales. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sorry? I, I couldn't hear you. For a second. Sorry, Pavel, did you answer? I, I saw your... I couldn't I hear you. I imagine sales. Uh... Hmm. Alice. Hmm. Uh, so. Da na na na. Uh oh. Are you stuck? Uh, 
Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Rip rip. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, uh, wah, wah, wah. Okay, looks like Pavel's out of this round. Ken, can you figure out the anagram for sales? Ken, to you. Seals. Correct. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Uh, okay, Ken. Mm -hmm. Five letter word for Oxana. Ah, seals. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's a frustrating game because when you see the answer, you go, ah, <laughs> yeah. I knew that. Okay. Times. Times. Woo, good one. Oksana, your word is times. Times. Okay, just a second. Mm -hmm. Actually, I can think of two. <laughs> it's difficult to imagine. Semit. Spell some, it. Some words like this. S E M I T. It's oh, no. sorry. No. Don't have this word? Uh, actually, it does. It has two that I can think of. Ken, can you think of one? Okay. Uh, for example, emit. Oh, that's. Emit. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. Ken can back it up, but I actually I forgot emit. Emit. Uh, emit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we pronounce it. What's mean emit? Emit. Sorry? What does this mean? Emit. emit. Uh okay. Uh the kitchen is emitting a strong odor because my wife oh. is cooking fish. For example. Um, something coming out. Actually, in English, every word, if you see E and then uh, egress, emit, emission, um, something coming out is emitted. Uh, pollution is e emitted from your car. It comes out. Every, every word in English that begins with E something means something out, something going out. Think about egress, exit, you're going out. Mm. Um, so emit, Probably can be might as well, might. Might, yes. Yeah. Um, mites are tiny, tiny, tiny insects. Yeah. A mite is a type of insect. And a verb, smite. Ooh, archaic Old English. To smite someone is to hit them. All right. It's kind of an old word. Beware, or I will smite you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, okay, sorry, Oksana, you're out. The only two who are left, Emmanuel and Ken. It's between you two. Emmanuel, I have to give you... Uh-oh, uh you've already done five letters, so I, I have to... Oh, no. I have to give you a six-letter word. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, which I am fully not prepared to do. <laughs> ah, uh, hang on, just half a second. Ah, okay. I think I got one. Okay, hang on. I'm writing it. Okay. Oh, whoops. I'm glad. Okay. Okay. Here is your six-letter word, Emmanuel. Very challenging. Right. I can see. I can okay, see you can't the see it. Prices. Yeah. 
prices, P-R-I-C-E-S. All right, prices. All right, <laughs> let me think about it. <laughs> um, prices. Oh, gosh. Um, Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm, prices. Uh, Ooh, it's very difficult. Mm, cripes? No. Cripes? No. <laughs> cripes? No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? Yeah, it's it's a it's a word. Is that a word? Okay. Cripes. Uh, cripes. Okay. I have to give that to you, actually. Uh, cripes. Um, do, it, I'll give it to you. Do you know what it means? What does it um, mean if I say cripes? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? I'm just guessing. <laughs> does anybody cripes. know? What does cripes mean? Oh, cripes. Some Probably food? it's cripes. Maybe it's a dessert or something? I don't know. It's like, it's a, it's, no. It's like a... Is a tree or something? Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, Ken, since you're the only other one left, can you uh, either? There's another word in prices, actually. Can you give me a different word in prices, or yeah, can you I, tell me I got what? One. I, got, I got one. I think you do. Okay. Yeah. Is cypress? That's uh, a tree. <laughs> cypress. Cyprus. Yeah. <laughs> the problem with that <laughs> no? is Cyprus starts with a C. Uh, oh. And it has a Y. Cyprus. It's C no. Y, not C and double S. Really? Oh. Pretty sure. <laughs> Pretty oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, in, that's right. In, in English. Okay. Uh, Ken, can you come up with a, another word in prices? Can you steal it away? Can you cash in the victory? Mm, maybe this this one? I don't... Uh, anybody? This. Can, mm. any, Rhesus. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Okay. What is a precis? Uh, kind of uh, explain in easy way or something. In, uh, to get a general idea or something. Very, very good. A precis is a summary or a bridged explanation of something. Yes. Very good. Ken, you are the winner. Excellent. Very good. Uh, I forgot about precis. Um, I was actually thinking... Spicer, the a person who spices is a spicer. Okay, you can think about er endings when you're looking at e anagrams. Actually, anagrams is an interesting sort of way to practice English because it forces you to think about common endings, common prefixes, common suffixes. Pre uh, you know, er is very common at the end of words. Uh, es. Okay. Uh, excellent. Uh, okay. Let's see. We've only got a few minutes, but let's see if we can do one more round. Uh, okay. Ken, since you mm -hmm. won, we'll start with you and go backwards. Starting with three letter words. Three letters. <laughs> three letters. Um... Back to three letters. Oh, I'm thinking on your toes. Okay. Uh, three. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, yes. E yes, this one. T. Okay. T again. Ah, <laughs> uh, again? <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's all right. Pavel, T. Uh, Pavel, T. Eat. Eat. Okay. Pavel, three letter word. Uh, three letter word. Three letter word. Uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Arm. 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 Okay. 
Very good. Arm. Okay, Heidi. Arm. What anagram? Arm. Heidi, are you there? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anagram for arm. A ram. Ram. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so a male sheep or mar. If you mar something, you ruin it, you damage it. But yes, very good. Heidi, three letter word for tip. Emmanuel. Hmm? Okay, tip. Oh. Tip. Sorry, tip. Excellent. Emmanuel, tip. Right. Um, pit. pit. Pit, very good. Yeah. Three letter word for Roxana. All right, my word is. Mm, bat. Bat. B A T. Okay. Yeah. Oxana, bat. Tab? Yes. Tab. Okay. You have a tab key on your computer. Right? A tab is something that sticks out a little bit, or an indentation. In writing, it's called a tab. Okay. Uh, Three-letter word for Ken. Okay. Uh, wait, wait. Oxana has to give it's you I, a uh, so word. I'm two. Two, two. What? Two. T-W-O? Yes. Or T-O-O? -O. Two? No, T-W-O. -W yes. Oh, all right. Ken? Yeah. Uh, toe. What? Toe, toe, <laughs> toe. Hitch to toe. Ah, <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. right, I got it. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay, you guys are right, way ahead of me on that one. I didn't even see that coming. Okay, Ken, four letter word. Four letter. Oh, four Pablo. Four letter. Uh, For it, for it. Did I say soul already? Yes, you did. Okay. Or at least, uh, no, you said soul, but you didn't say soul. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I used... I, I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. But oh. uh, these are hom homonyms. They sound exactly the same. Two different okay. words, soul and soul. This uh, one. Two completely different meanings. Vol. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. Okay. A vol. Do you know what a vol is, Oksana? Vol? Yeah. Maybe what? Maybe some place for money? Yeah, I, I hope not. I, a vol is a kind of a small rodent. Are they blind, Ken? God, uh, a vol is blind. I, I don't know what the... Or is that a mole? Blind? Kind of, but maybe their eyes is not so good like humans, I guess. Okay. But anyway, a vole is a kind of animal. Pavo, vole. Vole, love. Love, of course. Of course. Okay. Uh, what's your new word for Heidi? Uh, for Heidi? Uh, Four letters. Four letters. Mm-hmm. Fair. Fear. Fear. Fear? Fear? Fear. Or fair? No, no, no. Feet. Fear. Oh, fear. Okay, fear. 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 Uh, okay. Very good. <laughs> Heidi? Fear. 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 Fair. As in taxi fare, uh, a, a payment that you make. Okay, very good. Heidi, four-letter word for Emmanuel. Lean. Okay. Sorry, again? Lean. Lean, 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 lean. Okay. Hmm. Lean, Can Emmanuel. Spell? Can you spell that? L-E-A-N. All right. All right. Um, Leo, I can say Neil. 
よ。いやいやいや。えー、ニオ。That's a word? <笑> well, it's a name. It's a proper name. <笑> Alright. <笑> I don't know if it's. I'm not sure of the rules <笑> regarding、yeah. Neil.、Uh, ah, well, I guess it's okay. It's okay? I, or I, I, I guess so. It's a proper name. We never, we never made a rule about it, and there's only one minute left anyway.、Uh, Heidi, did you have a different、mm -hmm. uh, anagram for lean? Lane, ah, yeah, okay. Didn't even see that. Emmanuel. One more、right. for Oxana. Four letter word. Four letter, all right.、Um, ears. Ears. E A R S. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, Oxana.、Mm. I'm give up. I'm give up. What's that? I'm give up. You give up? Oh my、yes. goodness. And we're out of time. And so it's a four way tie with everyone except you. Fuck <laughs>、oh, Santa. Okay. The last one sear. To sear something is to burn it. Okay.、Uh, you drop your cigarette on your shirt and you sear your shirt. There's a brown mark on your shirt. You seared it.、Uh, okay. Um, thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining me in this experiment, trying out. I just wanted to see how this goes. I've never tried this class before. I just wanted to see how this. <laughs> you guys improved a lot as the class went on, I will tell you that. You got much better. Okay, thanks for joining my experiment.、Uh, appreciate it. I'll see you next time here on Verbling. I'll see you again real soon. Pavel, I'll see you again real soon. Just give me a. A minute to get some、uh, more water. Okay. Thank you very much. See you、okay. real soon. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very